on the curb looks like Rialto PD it's a female sitting on the curb so come up and see what this guy's doing so he's asking her to come up here the fuck is that over there So we just walked up on this. He made her sit on the curb, but then he made her come back up and get in her car. Oh, she wanted a cigarette. So he's lighting a cigarette for her. Why is the passenger sitting on the curb and the driver, unless he knows her, Oh, this is weird. So the driver's still in the car and they pulled the passenger out. I said Rialto, I think. It's actually Fontana Police. I just saw it on the door. So it's not Rialto, it's actually Fontana PD. I don't know what Fontana is doing here. This is Rialto, I believe. So they're doing some type of enforcement in Fontana. So he's doing something on the phone. So we're actually out here on Foothill by the ABC Pharmacy, which is down from Pepper a little ways into Rialto. Now I'm not sure why nobody else is recording this traffic stop. As far as any of these passengers, they all should have their cameras out right now to record the police. Every one of them should have their cameras out because if the cops decide to pull them all out of the car, they're not going to have any documentation of it. It's whatever the cop said. So that's why you always record the police. Because then it's not what the cop said, it's what your camera shows. But... Uh, just want to make sure to document this. Recording the police for her protection. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I always tell people, always record, because if they decide, I'm just going to pull everybody out of the car, nobody's recording, then it's whatever the police said. No, we want it to be what actually happened. So. <clears throat> Okay, he's gonna go ahead and so he's gonna go ahead and handcuff her, but we don't know why. So we are gonna record this. So, you know, and this is in case. What if the officer says, "Well, she resisted, and I had to throw her down." My camera will show everything that happened, regardless of what the police say. And again, I don't know why she's the passenger. The driver's still in the car, so. There's passenger. Yeah, there's a driver and passengers in the car here. So. Okay, so they're arresting her and putting her in the car now. And this is why we, we record. Now, I'm not saying these officers are doing anything wrong at this moment. But uh, nobody ever thought, you know, that Derek Chauvin would do anything wrong. Or that Sean... Um, Lucas would do anything wrong you know when he shot Jonathan Price you know people don't know that cops are gonna do anything wrong until they do it and then if nobody's recording it's well it's what the cops said you know you have to record I'm still unable to find any video from the Jonathan Price Sean Lucas incident and um, the store obviously has a video because the chief saw the video I believe attorney Lee Merritt saw the video as well. <coughs> but, uh, okay, so apparently her mom's up here somewhere, or that lady's mom is up here somewhere. So, <coughs> and she was the passenger, so I'm not sure why the passenger was pulled out unless she has a warrant. That's the only thing I can guess. I mean, I don't know 
know why else she would be arrested. Unless she has a want, you know what I mean? But, uh, but that's why we record, you know. People get mad when we record and cops hate us to be recording them, but... I say if you're mad about somebody recording you as a police officer, then when you see another cop doing something wrong, you say, dude, you're the reason they record us. Um, Casey Camera Boy did a video in um, Atascadera, California. I messaged them uh, to let them know that what cop watching is all about but I haven't got it. they looked at my message but they didn't respond I saw them look at it it was on messenger but they didn't respond they just read it uh, but the, if you look at Casey camera boys video at Atascadera California I'm not trying to knock Casey camera boy at all but that's not what we're about you know he was this uh, one officer had protruding ears like he had normal ears but they kind of stuck out you know how that goes and he was calling him Dumbo he says you look like Dumbo can you fly around Dumbo I mean we're not about that you know um, just insulting the cops he walked right up behind one of the cops to film into the police car and the cop said yo yo you can't get in the police car and he put his hand out on Casey camera boy he didn't grab him he just put his hand out on him and said oh you can't get in what are you doing I'm just filming, but everybody should know, especially cop watchers that have been doing this a while should know, you don't walk up behind a cop like that, especially when he's in the crook of his door, like right here. Um, you don't walk up behind him like that. You get shot or tased. Um, <clears throat> but he started going off on the cop. And then the cop later says, you could film in my car. I don't care. You just, you walked up behind me. I thought you were going to get in the car. You could film here. And he opened the car door. He goes, you go. He goes, no, man, you already assaulted me. You know, but uh, bottom line is the cops were trying to be professional and they were just being insulted and harassed. And I felt bad for them, you know, because we're not about that. Cop watch is not about that. Cop watch is about making sure that everybody's accountable. You know what I mean? That everybody's transparent. You know, we're not about uh, insulting them and calling them names and saying, I don't give two horses dicks what you got to say. You know, what? I could see if the cop was being a jerk, but he really wasn't, you know. <laughs> okay, he's pulling her out of the car now. It looks like he might be taking the handcuffs off. I stopped my camera for a few minutes. We're coming up over 40 minutes now. 40 minutes no, she wasn't in the uh, she was yeah she was in the police car for about 20 minutes maybe that's why he's pulling her out because he figures 20 minutes is enough for her to sit in the back of the car but so he took the cuffs off pulled her out and took the handcuffs off so after f over 40 minutes That's because the camera's here. Camera makes a difference. Okay. So the camera ensured that she was let go. And now they're gonna take off they're going to turn around. There they go, guys. They let her go. Now they're going back towards Rialto. I don't get that. 